Hey everybody, this is J and B, and this is a package we've been waiting a while to get. We submitted a whole bunch of coins to PCGS at the show at the World of Money in Rosemont back in August. We submitted a 1950 Denver nickel that was in very nice shape. And that's something to know. You guys ask a lot about submitting stuff. If you're submitting pre-65 coins and post-65 coins, 1965, you have to submit them as two different submissions. If it's pre-65, they all go together. If it's after 65, they all go together. So the 1950 Denver came back, came, came back with a nice grade. Uh, that was weeks ago. But this was the big batch that we sent. And we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So I don't even remember exactly what coins were in this thing, but I remember that we were really excited about submitting them, and we've been really excited about waiting to get it. And we've been selecting them for a long time, too. And we've been selecting them for a long time. So now we're going to open this up, and based on the size of the box and the number of, co of coins we submitted, we've probably got two PCGS boxes in here. So... I've got to turn this so that I can cut the packing tape. I don't see a seam that... Well, maybe there's one here. I don't know. Since they've got this done this way, I'm just going to go chop, 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 and see if I can make room. They always send you more, fun, you know, forms that you can submission forms if you want to do it the paper way and not on the internet. So we have a bunch of those, and looks like we've got a regular box and a 35th anniversary box. So okay. There we go, finally. Mm, man, that one's heavy. There's one. That one's heavy too. There's two. So, they're there. Toss the box. They're both about the same weight, so this ought to be real interesting. Cut the tape. Okay. Yeah, it's their 35th anniversary this year, so they're doing all kinds of 35th stuff. So, let's see. Ah, there we go. Paperwork. Get that out of there. Alrighty. Oh, man. Wow. That looks impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I just opened the other one. It looks even more impressive. Wow. <laughs> we got a few coins here, huh? Let's see what we got. 2005. Wow. 2005 PCGS special finish 69 Yay. red satin finish. Yay. That's an MS69 basically. 
So we got 69. Um, so we're going to have to look that up. Might say it on the paperwork, whether or not that's a top pop or not. There's a nickel. MS-68, 2005 set and finish. Special Proof 68. Bison. 2005 set and finish 68 on the dime. Make sure I got the bison in there too, yeah. It's hard to aim this when I'm doing this. Okay. The Sacagawea, 2005 SP66 Plus Satin Finish. So, that's a pretty good one. 2005 PCGS SP66 Western Waters Satin Finish. There's the half dollar. SP68 set and finish on the half dollar. Quarter. 2005 SP69 Oregon set and finish. Nice. Holy cow. 2005 West Virginia MS65. Two thousand five P Kansas MS sixty four. Two thousand five P MS sixty seven California. Have to check that one. Nineteen ninety nine Susan B. Anthony MS sixty five. 1999 P MS 67 Susan B. 2020 W Salt River Bay V75 MS 64. And it had a little spot right here. And that's probably why it got 64. 2019 W. War in the Pacific, MS-66. 66. Another War in the Pacific, MS-66. 66. 66. Another War in the Pacific, MS-65. That's the first box. That's the one that wasn't full. Another War in the Pacific, MS-64+, plus. 2020 W Marsh Billings Rockefeller V-75, MS-62. Twenty twenty Samoa Bats, MS-64. Another one, Samoa Bats. MS-63. So far, not so good on Samoa Bats. <laughs> Another Samoa Bat. 64 plus. I can't even tell if they're in focus or not. 2019 Lowell MS-64. 2019 San Antonio Missions uh, W MS 65 Another San Antonio MS 66 uh, 78S Penny PCGS Proof 67 red decam. Nice. Another penny. 1978 S 
Proof 68 Red Decam. It's even higher than the first one. 1971 Quarter Proof 67. Nineteen seventy Denver quarter MS sixty three two thousand two Ohio MS sixty five Wow that that's surprising because that coin was absolutely flawless as far as we could tell two thousand two Indiana also MS sixty five. 2005 Minnesota MS 68. I'm gonna have to check that one. 1970s minor variety, large date, repunched mint mark. So we got the RPM designation on this one, and it's MS 64 red. Very cool. Three more to go. 2003 P PCGS MS65 Missouri quarter. So this is an example. We've got three coins left, um, or two coins left. This is an example of what you see, what we're pulling out quarter-wise, for example. These are the coins that you should be looking for when you're hunting and looking for high, you know, high condition to submit. Because some of these, like I said, we're going to check and we're going to see you know you get an ms68 on some of these or like this a 2005 minnesota ms67 and if you watch our videos it'll not only tell you that this is a coin that you should look for but it'll tell you what grades and what the grades are worth and what you should look for what you should expect in those grades so again another one that we're gonna have to check So we've got a 67 and a 68 in a Minnesota. That's pretty good. 1965 uh, PCGS Genuine Wrap Machine Damage XF Detail. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see the damage from. Shoot. Yeah, it is. What they're that. saying, wrap machine mm -hmm. damage. Yeah, it is. That. It's right here. Mm -hmm. There's just a very fine circle. Instead of what we're used to seeing, that is that is the crimper kiss that we call it. In this case, it's a solid line. It's not the little hash marks we're used to. So unfortunately, that one didn't get a grade. That one didn't get a grade other than genuine because it has damage on it. Bummer. So slide these down. Move these. Those don't even show. There's so many on the table here that we can't even get them all in the camera shot. I'm going to move them over. Let's see. So we're going to check real quick, see if we got any top pops. Top pop means it's the finest and there are none better, or it's tied for the finest. So we're going to check real quick, okay? Be right back. Okay, we only had a chance to check a couple of these grades that B remembered uh, when she did her videos on these. That what the grades, what the high grades were, and what they were selling for. So, for example, when I checked two, the Minnesota MS sixty eight, which is right here, the record for Minnesota 2005 like this is $850. That's what that one sold for, that record. Um, but <laughs> the one right above it here, the Oregon, that is an SP69, if I can get it out of there. There we go. That's an SP69. The record is for an SP68, 
and it sold for $1,950. Couldn't find a 69. So we're going to have to dig a little further, find out if there's anything, you know, if this is the top pop. But if the 68 sold for $1,950, and this is a full grade higher, oh boy. So we did really good on these coins. We just don't know exactly how good. We've got an amazing bunch of coins back. Uh, I mean, we couldn't be more excited. This is just going to be a lot of fun to go through these. And this is, as we said, this is an example of watching our videos, looking at coins that people are overlooking. The satin finish 2005 to 2010. Uh, this <laughs> Susan B's, things like that. People would, would never think that modern coins are worth so much money. Yeah. Especially the people in the coin collecting world that think that modern coins wouldn't be worth or aren't worth the trouble. They're not worth any money. Well, those two coins together are almost $3,000. There's 35 more coins here. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. <laughs> At least to us, it's pretty good. So, anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Uh, we obviously did. Until next time, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and see you at the next one. We're out.